Hey you guys, welcome back to Angel and Angela and on this topic you guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about how you know, narcissists and Jezebel spirits are, you know, cold-blooded vampires basically, you know. What makes these people cold-blooded is that they feel like, okay, I'm going to get you. I know I'm going to get you, you know. Um and if I don't get you, um, right now, I'm going to get you later. If you don't catch it, I'll get you again. If you don't catch it, I'll keep doing it. If I start lying to you, I know what reaction I'm going to get from you for lying to you. And you're going to question yourself. You're going to forgive me. You might never mess with me again. I'm cool with that, too. I wanted to talk about the cold blooded vampire that is, you know, the narcissist or, you know, the Jezebel spirit. So the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I feel like people's perception on the narcissist or Jezebel spirit is very distorted. Um, what do I mean by that? What I mean is that a lot of times you'll put yourself in a position where you're like, am I the narcissist? Like, you know, I've done bad things in my life that I regret, you know, um, I wish I wouldn't have done these things. And, and you, um, you didn't think they were bad, you know, because you were brought in up around these type of people, you know, um, a lot of things you had to learn on your own. So what makes narcissists so sick is that, you know, they're the type of people that's like, you could be going through a situation where someone maybe close to you died and now the narcissist is like, you know, they deserved it. They'll say crazy things that don't really make sense. And once they realize it, it makes other people uncomfortable, they'll change up um, what they said and then they'll gaslight you, even though they're the ones who even initially started this altercation. So the Jezebel, you know, she reads people well. She can, she can easily see when someone is you know, good supply for her. And she'll say things like, I don't really want to be with this person, but I know that this is the best person for me. This is someone I should be with or stick around with. Um, and a lot of times she's trying to get the empath to tell her, yeah, that's what you should do. She's trying to get people to have her do the right thing. But this is what makes them so cold blooded because they'll fool you to think they're empaths because they keep empaths around. The narcissist will, you know, or Jezebel spirit will, you know, portray like the victim because they're being attacked one way or another. But a lot of times they created that and they never have you know, they never want to take accountability. Like, you know, I'm still learning. I still, sometimes I do or say things and I don't really think things through. You're not a narcissist. The The narcissist Jezebel spirit is like, I'm right. Everything I think is right. So what makes this so cold blooded, what makes the narcissist so cold blooded is that they've been through the same situation a lot of us have been through. They have been through the same situations. So you're like, how can I tell a narcissist apart? Because I've been around people who are very narcissistic. You know, they joke around. Some of their jokes are kind of nasty. But it seems like everyone's getting along, right? So, you know, what makes a narcissist so cold-blooded, right, is that there's no empathy. So it doesn't matter how arrogant someone is it doesn't matter how narcissistic that person tries to make themselves look like it doesn't matter if they if they tell the narcissist hey you know i've been hurt or i've been through stuff and i don't feel anything right you're like i don't feel anything because you might be going through a stage of your life where you're going through the motions or you feel alone right um, what happens is that the narcissist preys on people who haven't completely healed or who are trying so hard to show you that they don't have any feelings. So um, what happens in society is that a lot of people have narcissistic traits and because the world is pushing people to act narcissistic, they feel like, hey, um, you know, I guess I'm a narcissist, I guess, you know, people get a kick 
out of being the villain. It's like, it's like dressing up as Ursula for Halloween. It's like people are getting the kick out of putting a mask on. And the narcissist is like, I can disguise myself within all of you because all of you want to be like me. But I've studied you too. I know that you're pretending to be tough. I know that, you know, I know that you're going through something right now. I know that you don't really have people close to you. Um, I know that you probably look up to me in some way because you think I'm a strong person. You know, um, I know that you might second guess me being a good person. I know that sometimes you might feel my bad energy. I know that sometimes you question if bad things are happening because of me. But I have to keep that smile going or I have to blame my bad luck on someone else or I have to tell you that my my parents or the people closest to me are doing things to me, are bothering me, are bringing me down. You know, they're steering you to the opposite direction um, because they want you to think they're normal, they're normal people with emotions and they also go through things as cold as they might seem. But in actuality, they're faking their relationships um, when it comes to people bothering them and things like that. The reality is that they want people to bow down to them. And I realize that in different scenarios, like to where I noticed this about narcissists is that they already know um, if they can misdirect you, you know, you're going to be having an impression of them, right? They're like, oh, you know, I don't get along with this person. Um, I don't get along with my parent. You know, me and them don't get along because of this, that, that. But in actuality, their parents are actually doing the best that they can. It's just the narcissist does not appreciate it. It's never enough for them. Not just is it's not it's not just that it's not enough for them. It's that they feel like you should do whatever I tell you to do. So even if um, this, you know, even if their parent was to tell them, you know, hey, you know, um, I don't want different people in and out of my house. Like, I don't feel safe, comfortable. You can't just trust people. Right. Um, that's something that would piss them off. That's something that they would start, you know, to they'll start to do things to de deliberately hurt you. So what happens is that they will deliberately try to hurt their parents. But in front of you, they'll act like, oh, I'm a good I'm a good uh, I'm a good kid or whatever. I'm, you know, I, I care about my family. I'm a family person. I care about my kid. I'm a I, I'm a good mother, you know, but they're really dropping off their kid with random people, strangers. They're not and they're disinterested in their child. They only use their ch their children when it's like a good opportunity, even a business opportunity, opportunity or if if their kid um you know has disabilities and stuff like that. They're using that as a way to get empathy out of people. And I don't mean that, you know, in a way where it's like, you know, as an empath, you can't feel sorry for people that are going through things. But what I'm saying is that the narcissist is the type of person to exploit that, like to, like on an everyday, all day basis. It's like someone who really cares about you know, their child, and, and especially if they're going through certain situations that are, you know, that you need more, um, more time with, um, you're going to, you're going to do the best you can as a parent, right? You, um, if you need help, of course you, it's okay. You know, you're going you're to ask for help. What I mean with the narcissist is that they exploit it. Like every little thing they do, they have to get something out of it. You know, like, Oh, I'm I'm going to go to dinner. I'm going to get breakfast this morning. So the narcissist is the type of person that's like, I'm going to go get breakfast. I'm going to make a big scene. I'm going to try to get a free gift card. I'm going to say that, 
you know, my child didn't get good service. I'm going to say that other people were doing or saying things about my kid that weren't true. I'm going to start, I'm going to start something. I'm going to um, complain about how cold it is. Oh, it's cold in here. I'm going to do something to get some type of discount. So what I mean with narcissists, you know, it, it, narcissists, you know, can be cold blooded and they're cold blooded vampires. I mean, like they're thinking of the things that you're not thinking. They're thinking of the things that you're not thinking. They're they're sizing you up. They're like, this person's not thinking about this. They're they're not thinking about this. They're not careful about this. They're looking to see when you're going to slip. They're trying to see if you're you're paying attention to every little detail because they're paying attention to every little detail when it comes to you. So if you're wearing your purse or something, they're like, oh, you have a nice purse. They're waiting for you to put it down. They're waiting for you to, you know, just leave out the room and leave your personal belongings they want to snoop through your phone. They want to snoop through your things. They want to snoop through your home. You know, um, these are people that are cold blooded. Like you think that they're not doing something or they're not capable of something. And these people are walking around taking pictures, filming, you know, um, and then pretending like they're not, you know, so these are people that are deliberately cold blooded. They're always trying to do something. They're always trying to see you slip. They're studying you and they're like, oh, this person's not paying attention to this or this person. They can't tell that I'm really, really wicked. You know, like it's dangerous being with me. Um, they don't understand the dangers of that. You know, this is why I don't go around too many people only when I need to feed off of someone, whether it's um, a narcissist or a Jezebel, they need to feed off of people that are cold blooded. When it comes to them feeding, they don't care who you are, what who, you know, if you're someone from the past, they don't care if you're family, they don't care if you're someone close. They don't care if the relationship will be distorted forever because they feel like if they can't get you to bow down to them, then they feel like the relationship is useless. So whenever they have the good opportunity, a good opportunity to get over on you, they will. Um, when it comes to the narcissist being cold blooded, not only do they study you and study your every move and they're thinking of the things that you're not paying attention to. So you're not paying attention to something. They're like, OK, this person's not alert They're There's someone that's not alert. So eventually I'm going to I'm going to catch them really asleep. Right. I'm going to be able to put a plan together so they start putting a plan together and they're thinking to themselves, I've already figured out the things that you're not thinking about. Now I'm going to figure out the things that you are thinking about while, you, while I was with you. While I was with you, I told you what you wanted to hear. But while you were making yourself comfortable with me or maybe you, you felt like it got too quiet. So you started exposing more about yourself I was taking personal notes. It doesn't matter how much you feel like, you know, there aren't a lot of people like you. It doesn't matter how much empathy you have. It doesn't matter how evil you pretend to be. The narcissist does not care about that. They don't care about your personality. They don't care whether you're good, whether you're bad. To them, it's what can I get from you? What can I do? What? Can, how can I use you in my life? Are you going to bow down to me? Um, are you going to call me out on certain things? Are the things that you call me out of, are these things true about me? Because if you can read them very well, they actually like that. They can, they actually like when you can read them because they feel like you can help them work on the things that are making them get caught for who they are. Because to them, it's like, help me change those things. And once I change those things, I'm going to pretend like those things didn't even happen. And I'm going to gaslight you like I always knew these things. 
and they take credit for it. And they already know that you're going to be upset because they're taking credit. So their whole thing is, I already planned this out. I knew what you weren't paying attention to. I knew, I knew that you were going, I was going to take information from you. I was going to take whatever I can because I'm cold blooded and I'm a cold blooded vampire. I'm going to take whatever I can. I'm a scavenger, a scavenger. I knew you were going to be mad that I take your that I took your information and I knew you were going to be upset that I gaslit you. I knew that. I knew that um you you know it's going to feel you're going to feel bad because I'm taking your energy and I'm going to continue doing it. I'm going to make sure I keep my 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 nails you know, deep inside of you. I'm going to make sure I, I, I stay on your mind. I'm going to make sure that you put out more than, more than, um, than I'm putting out. I'm going to make sure that you put out even in moments where it's supposed to be about you. I'm going to make sure that I ruined good moments for you. I'm going to make sure that when people like you or when, when, um, people's perception of you is changing i'm going to make sure that i shut shut that down and i change their perception of you so whether you're dealing with a jezebel or a narcissist they're both going to distort other people's reality about you and it doesn't matter whether you're on good terms with them or on bad terms with them because to them they have to control every single person in their life so to them it's like I, I need to know how you're thinking individually. I need to know how you're thinking. When people get together, it makes them uncomfortable. Now, if they bring people together, they have to make sure that they're the ones controlling the situation. If they can't control the situation, they, they're not going to click up people together because a lot of times the type of supply that they're getting is very different. Every supply the narcissist goes after is very, very different. This is why you'll see them with partners that are completely different from you. The narcissist does not care. They feed off of whoever, whatever they can. Um, these are cold blooded people because they don't care about getting you ill, getting you sick. Um, they don't care about um, telling you if maybe they're in some trouble or someone might be looking for them. They don't care about putting your life at risk. Um, this person is cold blooded because they know what your reaction is going to be once you figure out who they are. Um, they also feel like you should not have given them any energy, especially because these people will always expose who they are and they will disguise um, a lot of the things that they do or say as a joke, um, especially if they feel like you are someone who can handle a joke. So to them, it's like, if you can, if I can play with you, the narcissist feels like if they can play with you, then, you know, they could play you. You know, if they could play with you, they feel like they can play you. So this is why um, sometimes people get offended around the narcissist when they um, come off really friendly and people are confused. They don't know whether you're really a happy, positive person or if you're playing games with them. But what makes the narcissist so cold blooded is that. They already know what you're thinking. They're thinking um, anytime you're thinking something negative about them, they're thinking what you're thinking and they're thinking, how can I how can I change the way you view that or you view me? How can I change the way you I'm projecting myself to you? How can I blind you to these things? And they're thinking to themselves, if I do this right now, if I sit down like this or if I. If I, if I, you know, if I look away from you when you're telling me the truth and I know I'm lying, if I do, they're already thinking to themselves, you're going to confront me. You're going to look in my eyes. And when you look in my eyes, you're going to expect me to, to tell you the truth and look you in the eyes and tell you the truth. If I look away, you're going to, you're going to feel like I'm lying to you. If I look away, if I don't want to talk about it, you're going to feel like I'm lying. So they decide in that moment, do I look away like I'm lying to alert you more to to um, 
make you more insecure. You know, they're they're playing with your emotions. They know exactly what they're doing. So the narcissist always knows how you're going to react to certain things. And this is how they control people because they already knew what you weren't thinking, what you weren't paying attention to. They crossed your boundary. They already thought about what would happen if you cross that bound, that, that boundary. Maybe they can joke it off. Maybe they can change it and say, Hey, that's not what I meant. But they knew that's exactly what they meant. They knew that they were trying to jab at you, but they'll tell you it wasn't a jab, you know. Um, so they'll disguise it as something else. Um, you'll see their anger you'll see their frustration like they're trying to destroy you and and you're catching them trying to destroy you and because they feel like they've already crossed you in different ways and you let it go they feel like you still haven't woken up they're like you know they're so cold that even when they see that you're waking up they're so cold that they're like I'm gonna put you back to sleep the narcissist is so cold this 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 cold vampire is so cold that they'll sit there and talk about you with other people in front of you or tell you to hold on or to wait while they go and gossip about you and make sure that they affect you based on the fact that you weren't feeding into their lies. They have to make they have to literally make themselves feel good about the lie that you caught them in. Um, you'll see the way they start talking about other people behind your back if you try to confront them or or not confront them, but at least um you you can sense that that's what's going on and now you're you're killing them with kindness if you do this you will see that it's like oh i'm being caught i'm being caught i wasn't expecting you to come back in here and now you caught me talking about you i was expecting you to just stay there and be frozen because i said something to you to alarm you and then now i'm taking it back i'm telling you oh i was just I was just upset. They're playing with you. This is what makes the narcissist cold-blooded because they're playing games with you. They're basically like, if you're in my life, I'm going to play games with you. And that's just that. I don't care what you tell me. I don't care if it's your birthday. I don't care what holiday it is. I don't care who died in your family. I don't care how you feel about the world. I don't care if you say that you're, you think you're a narcissist. You don't know what being a narcissist is. Being a narcissist is getting over on that person and that's just what it is. And you need to take that loss. Don't come for me because I'm crazy. They want to intimidate you like they're so crazy. But the truth is they're afraid. They're so cold-blooded. They want their snack. They want their supply. They're so cold-blooded. Over the smallest things even. Willing to willing to hurt you. Willing to put you to an end if they don't get their way. But they're really afraid. You know, they're trying to intimidate you. They know how to intimidate people. They'll tell you how they intimidate people. They'll act like it's, it's just a joke. They're, they're not really serious. Or they won't do it to you at least, right? The narcissist has this thing where they have everyone running around like puppets they know what you're thinking when you're going to discard them they know their family certain people are not they're not just going to discard them like that they know they can they need to keep certain people in their life they force themselves that's how cold-blooded they are they force themselves even if these people are like good people and you're like i wish i had parents like those they don't care they're cold-blooded they don't care they already know that's how you think. They're like, I know you do. I run stuff over here. I don't care. And you're like, oh, you know, I get it. You feel like you have to look out for everyone. I, I feel you. But they're really looking out for themselves. That's how cold-blooded they are. They try to make you believe, like, something that's not real. They try to make you believe that they are the person that you see in the physical realm.
And you're thinking, oh, that's my friend. That's my cousin. That's my mom. That's they want you to think the person you see physically is who they are. They know what you see when you look at them. They're like, I know what you see when you look at me. And you're like, oh, okay, I can see myself too. I love who I am. They're looking at you like, cool. That's cool that you found yourself. I've I've been found myself and I've been out here torturing souls and I don't care how much information you know. I'm cold blooded. I don't care about no one. I I act. Everything is an act always. I don't care if I'm making a five star dinner. It's still a game. I don't care if I'm getting promotions, I'm getting bonuses. It's a game. Everything's a game. You know, um, narcissists are just cold blooded. They're they're getting into marriages with other narcissists. They're being cold blooded together like we're not really together, but we're just going to pretend because it's we're just getting money together. We're just going to pretend because we're getting money together. They're just cold blooded. They don't care about no one. That's what people don't understand about narcissists. Like, um, people tell themselves, well, maybe I'm a narcissist, or maybe no, because there's just certain things you just wouldn't do. It's just certain things you wouldn't do. Like, someone is helping you out all the time. You're not going to say, after this person helps me out of this situation, I'm going to come back and rob them. Like, that's not something you think about, even if you say you're you're narcissistic and stuff or, or stuff. It's not that you're narcissistic. You just don't let people play you because they're everywhere playing. Everyone wants to be the villain. Everyone wants to be the villain until they come across the real villain. And they're they're so intrigued with the real villain that now the real villain's like, oh, I got you where I wanted you. You deserve it because you, you're pretending out here. So anyone who's pretending, you're automatically a target. And if you think, oh, I'm going to get away with it. I have family. I have friends. I have people that back me up. Then you don't know the narcissist because the narcissist is cold blooded. They're waiting on an opportunity. They're waiting to corner you in. They're waiting t- when you're by yourself. These are people that will come get you back. These are people that come knocking at your window. These are people that don't care. They're just cold-blooded when they want what they want. They need their pacifier. That's the only way they'll stop. That's how they feel. And once you wake up some ang- the anger, jealousy in them, competition even, or once you they, they see that they can't take your energy, they're like, oh, man, I really thought I was going to take your energy. And man, and they still don't want to believe it. This is another one. They they they're so invested into conning you into a romance scam, into friendships that aren't real. They're so they're so driven by their own wickedness that. Those same things are done to them. And when it happens to them, they don't even see it coming. This is why, you know, 90, 95% of the time when you're dealing with an empath, eventually an empath will open up to you. Will you know, um, will, won't want to be in certain situations, no matter how, how much it hurts. They won't want to waste your time. They'll think about you know, themselves, how would they feel if they were going felt the same way, if they felt like, hey, you know, they're going to think of what's the best thing we could do for the both of us during this breakup. You know, the narcissist, they're not going to do that. They're going to exploit you and exploit you. They're like, I'm just going to kill you physically, spiritually until until it's over because I've already put my venom in you. And now all I have to do is keep gaslighting you because you haven't figured out that the way I play, I play to kill. I play dirty. I I play for souls. And I'm already aware of that. I already know what you're going to go through, what I'm going to put you through. I already know these things. I already know how I'm going to leave you. 
I already know how I am going to end up. I already know I'm going to get bad karma for this, but I'm going to enjoy this ride as much as I can because I'm cold blooded like that. Because it's only about me, because this benefits me, my happiness, even if it's in this moment so I can forget about everything because it's about me. I'm not thinking about you. You're like, not even a little bit, not even a little bit, just an ounce, a little bit. They're like, no, it was never about you. You didn't even exist to me. It was just something to do when it was something to do. Like cold blooded. I don't care if it was years. I don't care if you could have been with someone else. I don't care. The narcissist is someone cold-blooded, someone that could have, you know, exploited you, your youth. And then you get older and you realize they've been exploiting you. And now, you know, um, they'll tell it to your face. Like, I knew you were going to wake up one day. It took you long enough. Yeah, everything you thought was real is real. And, you know, they're cold-blooded. They'll tell you to your face or they'll tell you, I'm sorry, I just don't love you like that. And it could be your your mother telling you this, I, don't, I just don't love you like that. Or, you know, there's a disconnection, like there's nothing there. So people always, you know, they think they know what a narcissist is until you're literally feeling like dying and they're like, Go ahead, kill yourself. A narcissist will tell you to go do it. And you're like, I know I have narcissistic traits, but I'll never tell someone to go kill themselves, you know, especially if that person's not doing anything to you. This person helped you. It's not like that person disrespected you and you said something you're like, oh, I wish I wouldn't have said that and fed into their energy. It's not that it's, you know, they exploit you and it's still not enough that they've exploited you. It's like they really want to grind you to death. So I hope that this video, you guys, was helpful on the cold blooded, you know, um, narcissist, you know, the cold blooded vampire, because I don't think people understand how badly the narcissist wants your energy. They already know when you're going to assume certain things about them or when they get caught in lies, they already know they might get caught in lies. They already know that they mix their stories up. They're prepared for anything because it's all a big game to them from the start anyway. It doesn't matter. It's like you're giving me energy, positive, good. It doesn't matter. People like me are just not to be dealt with because nothing but bad is going to come from me. And that's how they look at it. Being with me is just bad. Sadness, sor sorrow, all these things are going to come out of it. They already know that. They're okay with it. And, you know, and they already know your reaction. They're already going to, they know what you're thinking. They already know what you're going to be thinking when it all goes down. And they're, and you're like, oh, dang, you know, they did this because of this, of that. They already know you're going to think that about all these things. And, and at the end of the day, you're going to realize that none of it mattered at all. Like all the ups and downs, all the weird stuff, all the, you know, wanting someone to love you. You're going to realize that none of that stuff matters because you should have been loving yourself. You're going to realize none of that mattered. But the narcissist was such a cold-blooded vampire that they wanted to keep you stuck in the maze just to continue to take any energy from you just by being around you. So I hope that this message was helpful, you guys. If you guys want to book a session with me, my booking information is on the description box. Just give me 24 hours to respond to you. If you guys enjoyed this podcast and many like this, you know, warning you about, you know, the dangers of being with a narcissist and not believing how cold-blooded they are and, being in and out of consciousness between what is right, what is wrong, what you miss, the feelings that you wish you could have again, and all these different emotions that you're having, but the narcissist feels none of those things. And this is why they study you because they're like, I know that you're going to go through all these motions already. This I know.
So, um, you know, they they study people to see what part of um, their healing they're on. And even if you are telling them like, hey, there's nothing going on in my life, they don't believe you. And they're, they're still preying on you. And that's what makes them a narcissist. So if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. And I'll talk to you guys on the next podcast. Love you guys. Bye.